My name is Gilbert Smith. We are the Victory MMA. I'm the uh, founder of Victory MMA and the owner. A little bit about me. Uh, first and foremost, I am. Uh, I spent six and a half years in the Army. After that, I decided to get out and I traveled the world. I got really deep into martial arts. Uh, with Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, I became a black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Um, I'm a Muay Thai crew under Master Tori. I traveled to Thailand. I got my crew certification under him. Uh, I've, I've wrestled. I wrestled at CSU Pueblo, so I wrestled on college level. Um, I have my bachelor's degree in exercise science. And my goal was to learn the sport of combat from all different facets. I wanted to learn the martial arts. So that's where I got my BJJ black belt. I traveled to Thailand, Amsterdam, across the country to learn and train with some of the best coaches. I, I wanted to learn the physical aspect, how to become a more well-rounded conditioned athlete. I started fighting, I had my first fight January, in January 2009. Two years later, I went pro. As an amateur, I went 7-0, I finished every one, except for my first fight. Two years later, I went pro in January of 2011. Uh, from there, I, I, I obtained enough fights where I was able to make it to the Ultimate Fighter show and get the opportunity to fight in the UFC. Now, that happened almost a year and a half later. So within three and a half years, I was fighting in the UFC. From there, I had the opportunities to fight in Bellator, fight in all, all the big regional, national uh, MMA promotion from Legacy, Titan, RFA, LFA, MFC. I was I was actually able to obtain a world championship with the RFA, which is like, if you break it down from UFC, Bellator, and America, the RFA, which is now the LFA, is like the third highest organization. I initially opened up Victory MMA in January 2009. It's almost the same time I had my first fight. And the reason why, when I came back from traveling across the world and the country, I, and, I, and, I, and I decided to, to, uh, to build my life here in Colorado Springs because I got out the Army, I did civilian contracting, I made a lot of good money, so I traveled the world and I said, okay, Colorado Springs is going to be my spot. I got out the Army in Colorado Springs, but I was always thinking about leaving. And I decided, you know, to keep my family here. But I, I felt like there wasn't no real gyms that had the atmosphere that I was looking for. So, you know, just like in the movie, Feel the Dreams, I believe is the name of the movie. You know, if you build it, they, they will come, something like that. So I decided that I, I, since I, didn't, I couldn't find a gym that I wanted to be a part of, I would create my own and I would get students to come in and build an atmosphere that would be conducive to learning and, and help build character and technique and, 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 and mental strength. So the goal of Victory MMA was to always teach people that through hard work and dedication, you can obtain any goals you want out of life, be it in martial arts or being in just normal life. I, I tell people, uh, my students, that comes to this gym, either potential new students or vets, people that's been here long, uh, for a while. I ask for three things, They're my three C's. Consistency, competency, and competition. Now the third one, competition, is not mandatory. Some people love to train for fun. Some people like to train for the camaraderie, for the workout, for the technique, the self-defense. Some people don't want to go compete. But if you do compete, well, you have to have the competition mindset. And it's going to come from the consistency, okay? It's hard to grow you to the next level when, when you, you don't show up, okay? I tell people, if you walk through the door, you're going to be successful. Most people fail outside of the world. And, and then that comes from back when I was a personal trainer at 25 Fitness. You know, all my clients would come to me and say, hey, I want to lose 20 pounds. Okay, cool. Well, you're gonna spend about an hour with me, training, busting your butt, but then you're gonna have 23 hours in the world where you, you could eat bad, you could do things you shouldn't be doing, and that's what people fail. So my goal is to give you the structure here so you can take that home with you. So what I expect is consistency. Consistency with your attendance, consistency with your, uh, with your attitude, or with, with, with the energy you bring to the gym. 
what you can expect from me is almost the same thing. Meaning that when I come to this gym, I, I don't come with anything but a positive energy that's going to help strive you or help you to become the best you possibly can be. Uh, be it once again, if it was a fitness goal, if it was a competitive goal, or you, or you just want to be around the atmosphere and feel comfortable and feel welcome and not feel like, hey, you're the new person so everybody's going to pick on you. That's not going to happen. That's our number one rule to get your training partner. B, um, you feel like uh, you're a little bit different and you don't feel like you're welcome because you may come from a different background, a different race, a different religion, a different, different political affiliation, or, or whatever, different gender. Like all those things get put to the side and we really don't care. If you have a positive attitude, positive energy, you're gonna have a great time here. And that's what you can expect from me as I expect the same from you. One of the reasons why we believe that Victor MMA is hitting above other gyms is the fact one, we can talk about the facility. We have an MMA cage, we have a box ring, we have mass space, we have a lot of workout equipment, we have a lot of cardio equipment, we have almost 14 heavy bags, we have a sauna. You could come do it all in one spot. Besides that, if we incorporate the martial arts, A, we have the boxing, jujitsu, uh, kickboxing, MMA, and then the instructors. I think that's very key, like myself. I'm one of the few guys in Colorado Springs that actually fought at a high level, that was a world champion, that is a BJJ black belt, that has the education, education that we are, that I have. And the coaches that we also have, they are all just as legit and they care. We actually care about every student. It doesn't matter if today is your day one or this is your third or fourth year training with us. Aaron Cordova. I am the head youth coach for Victory Boxing and right now we're starting the commencement of our youth class. Age four is where we start um, and it's a great age to start them because that's when they absorb some, some most knowledge that you give them. Hand-eye coordination, simple calisthenics such as jumping jacks, jump rope like we're learning today is a great basic skill for them to move on in their life. This is Briseis and this is Toa. Uh, they they come every day. Uh, they they love boxing. Uh, I think it's I think it's been awesome for them. They you know after from coming uh, getting off of school, they come here and throw a few punches. Pretty cool. I'm Paula, and I've been. Training as a boxer, just as a hobby for the last two years. We were just going through a pretty um, difficult time in our family and we had thought about bringing the boys to boxing and we decided to join as a family and it's brought us closer as a family and I really enjoy it. I'm Ben Rodriguez, I do MMA and Jiu Jitsu. Uh, I've been with Jamal about seven years. I feel like family. Um, my first move to Colorado Springs in 2010, bounced around MMA gyms and just how you click with somebody, the place where you feel like you belong, where you want to be, and this was, this is it. I definitely recommend it to anybody, come in, give the class a try, push yourself, like, it's a fun place, plenty of joking around, work, work hard, got a lot of good fighters here that take care of each other, you know, not a punching bag for somebody else, so it's real good to get quality training and one-on-one -on -one time. If you have any questions or or if you want to come check us out, go to ColoradoVictoryMMA.com. Uh, that has the web the website has videos that have uh, instructions that you can see how I teach and how I train. Obviously, it has my personal phone number. Uh, you can contact me, and I can tell you right now: 719-231-4885. Um, you can contact us on social media. On Instagram, just look, at, look up Colorado Victor in May. Uh, Twitter, just look up Colorado Victor in May. Uh, Facebook, look up Colorado Victor in May. Or you can look up myself, Gilbert Jamal Smith, and all those different platforms. Um, feel free to contact me in any, any way. You can send me a private message or a direct message, or you can just call me.
at the end of the day, it doesn't matter who you are or where you are in life. If you have a positive energy and you want to try something different, something fun, something that's going to be safe, then come to Victor MMA. Once again, the crowd that we have is a plethora of different people from different backgrounds. And we make sure that we keep that door open for anybody who's willing to put in the work, willing to put, put aside their personal life, and is coming to the gym and just have some fun.